Copper sulfate on all metals. In this video, we'll show you how copper sulfate reacts on all the metals that it works on. Here, we have bronze. In many of these cases, copper sulfate is designed to be used as a hot process. So we heat the metal up to about 180 to 200 degrees and then spray it on. As you can see, we're getting a nice kind of reddish brown. And we didn't get it quite all the way up to temperature, so sometimes you can get, get some of that whiting that comes through. And that's okay, we can clean that off a little bit with some wet paper towels afterwards, but it's pretty normal to have some modeling through it. So if you want to avoid some of this white that's coming through, really make sure that you're up to temperature. You can see it, it kind of gets a cold rain and it doesn't mist right off. So an optical barometer or a thermal thermometer will uh, help you with that. And you can ensure that you're always up to 180 degrees to 200. Here we're going to do zinc. And zinc is a cold process with the copper sulfate. And all it does is kind of a, a really nice gray. It doesn't, it looks black here, but it doesn't go black when you rinse it off. It's just a really nice gray. So we'll do steel, which is also a cold process. And you can see it's kind of turning it kind of a copper color. It's pretty similar to our copper plating, but the copper plating seems to react a little bit more thorough. You can see a few areas here where I'm having to hit it a little bit more, kind of work with it a little bit. Um, so the copper plating is a little bit more reliable when you go to the wanting just a copper finish on steel, but it does work. So here we'll show you brass. And brass is going to be very similar to the bronze as well as copper will be similar to these two as well. And we get it up to about 180, 200 degrees and spray it on. Now the major difference between brass and bronze here is we don't really get that reddish tone that comes through. It's more of a, a brownish. And you can see I've got to get it up a little bit more to temperature. But I kind of like how the, the modeling comes through. It kind of diffuses the patina a little bit, gives it a little bit more character. So you know, to each their own, and that's something that you can play with and, and figure out really where you want to be. I like getting it up to temperature to get a kind of a good color going, and then I like to kind of flood it and play with it a little bit. Again, I can get the white to go away afterwards, but it, it gives it a lot of character, which I really love, and brass gives it a really fun look. As you can see, you can kind of see a little pitter pattern, but uh, I really like how this is coming out, and so that's why sometimes I just hit it with a little bit more patina to get that mottled look to come out. I'll go ahead and skip forward just a little bit here. I put on some more patina and you can see I got a lot of white going on. So here's where I'll show you how you can get rid of that. Remember I said you can just take a little bit of water and I'm going to take a bottle of water here and I'm just going to lightly wipe it with my paper towels. So kind of get it real wet. You can see it's steaming. It's still a little warm and I'm just going to go in with white paper towels. Just some Costco paper towels those all work. Just avoid the shop towels because shop towels can actually have a little bit of wax and whatnot on it so it can uh, affect the clear coat afterwards. But you can see the white's just coming right off as well as some of that black and we're still left with a really interesting patinaed surface with a lot of character which is really what I love. And here we'll start with copper. So again heat it up 180 200 degrees and then we can spray it on. And the copper we're using here is rather thin, so that's why I spray a little bit and then it, it's already kind of cooled down because it just cools so fast. And that's okay. Again, I kind of like the modeled and everything that comes with it. I'll just have to use the water and paper towel trick afterwards just to get rid of that white and the excess of uh, kind of chemical there. And that's completely fine. And again, it, it, we don't normally have to rinse it or anything, but at any point you do one of these hot patinas or, or really just a patina in general and it starts giving a little white film or, or something weird, it doesn't hurt it to give it a little bit of water and, and a, a little paper towel action. So you can wipe it, you can dab it, you can do a lot of things. Now, if you do like a green patina or a blue patina, something like that, then you can end up removing some of the patina. But as a general rule, water in a paper towel is just a great tool to have at your disposal because it doesn't really mess with the patina itself, but it can remove, like in this case, some of the excess of chemical that's just kind of sitting on there and giving us a white reaction or a black reaction. We can see some coming in here as well. And that's, like I said, it's pretty normal. So it's just little things like that that you pick up over time that can really aid in your patina work. And once again, I'll go ahead and skip to show you the water trick. And you can see it's still cooling off, the metal flexed and everything. 
So we just get it wet, we'll come in with some paper towels, kind of get some of that excess chemical off. And I really like how the copper sulfate works with these. You still retain that metal, you can tell it's bronze, you can tell it's copper, you can tell it's brass, but it's just like a subtle patina that makes it look so good. And after these are all dry, we can go ahead and clear coat them. We're gonna use the ClearGuard EF matte on these. Uh, but you can wax it, you can ever clear it. I, again, I'm just going to use a clear guard here. You can use satin or matte. I just prefer a matte. I think it kind of goes with the patina look a little bit, but if you want a little shiny, just use satin. So I'm going to do uh, two quick coats here, and I'll come back and do a second one later on. And uh, overall, I'm really happy how these turned out. Copper sulfate is available at www.sculptnouveau.com or by calling us at 760-432-8242.